Well, uh, there are several uh, versions of the proposal. There are several pending bills, uh, foremost of which is the uh, bill filed by uh, Senator Angara. Uh, what he wants to do is to increase the tax base uh, before the, the highest uh, or the maximum tax rate will hit. Uh, he wants to increase it to 1 million at least. So the DOF proposal right now, the current one, is in fact to exempt ev everybody that's earning, uh, who's earning at least a, a, a little less than 1 million. Now, you all, there also, the DOF is also proposing flat tax rate for self-employed and professionals from 32% to 25% in five years. Now, do you see that time period also being applied under the Duterte administration? Or would you agree with that? That, that makes sense. Uh, it, that should be staggered so that, the be, so, so that the government will be able to uh, get its footing where to get the revenue loss. No? Uh, if we're talking about increasing the VAT rate by another 2%, that would give the government additional uh, at least 50 billion pesos per year. Right, because we have a chart here showing what the DOF looked at as losses that would happen once they try to adjust, the, the adjust these rates. For example, mm -hmm. we have the losses when it comes to personal tax, corporate tax, and offsetting it with VAT. Now, before we go to VAT, just wanted to go to corporate income tax um, this time. So they want it to be reduced to 32%. Do you see this happening immediately or more also on a five-year period? Uh, it's better to lower it uh, from 30 to 25 right away. Uh, right away, immediately. Yes. Because if you, if you think about it, uh, what companies will be able to save will be devoted to expansion and that would generate employment. Employment would have you salaried employees so we'll also pay taxes and consume. The DOF though said that this should be calibrated together with tax to GDP ratio. So as tax to GDP ratio increases, that's only when this starts to decrease slowly. You don't agree with that? You want it immediately? Uh, at least for corporate income tax, that should be done immediately. But for individual taxpayers, uh, it should be done gradually because the, the a drastic decrease in the individual tax rates would actually uh, uh, amount to a big revenue loss, something like 200 billion, uh, according to the computation of the UIF, if we will exempt all those earning 1 million and below. Because the bulk of our collections really come from personal, personal income tax uh, A big chunk of it uh, is coming from individual uh, taxpayers, but actually 60% is coming from uh, the top 2,000 corporate taxpayers. Uh, something like 82% are coming, 82% out of the individual, all the individual taxpayers are coming from salaried employees. Now with the increase in VAT, they're looking at even up to 15%. Will that be enough to offset the loss that would come from reducing those income taxes? I, I'm, I'm really not so keen on immediately increasing the VAT rates because that will hit uh, the ordinary uh, pe person. Uh, so how would you propose to go about it? Uh, let's look at it. Uh, let's study it uh, three years from now. If, uh, because there are other ways that we can actually gain the revenue loss. We can, we can take it back. Uh, we have to improve tax efficiency, uh, collection in, in effi uh, efficiency in collection. Uh, at this point, the, the government is heavily, heavily reliant on uh, voluntary compliance, so tax compliance. So 95% in fact of the revenue of the government is coming from voluntary compliance, what we declare as individuals or as corporate taxpayers. So what do you want to change about that? How do we change it? Um, we need to be able to uh, simplify the tax system so that everybody will be able to comply and will be encouraged to comply. Uh, if you look at the United States, the tax compliance rate of the United States is 85%. The Philippines is below 50 so meaning, if, if you say uh, 100, there are 100 million taxpayers, only less than 50 million are paying their, their taxes in the Philippines. Just an example, straight computation. So if we will encourage tax compliance, the government does not have to worry about uh, the whether, revenue losses. Yes, whether we increase, whether we should increase the VAT rate. Now, uh, Duterte also mentioned, uh, also had talked about privatizing the BAR. Now. All right, that had a lot That's, of people worried. Are yeah. you in favor of that? Uh, it, it's not a bad idea at all. Uh, well, anyway, we are in the trend is outsourcing, so we can probably outsource the tax collection uh, function of the Bureau of Internal Revenue, which is Revenue. actually being done in other countries. Correct. Right? So, which is actually the source of the systemic and institutionalized corruption. Uh, so, in order to get rid of that immediately, uh, I mean, outsourcing is not not a bad idea. So outsourcing of the collection, collection function, function yeah. of the VAR. Thanks right. so much, Jules, for your insights.